are getting bigger, the water is rushing out, and our country does not understand what's happening to it. Our country is scapegoating immigrants for things that immigrants have nothing to do with. When you go to a factory in Ohio, it is not wall-to-wall -wall immigrants, it's wall-to-wall -wall robot arms and machines. So I went to DC before running for president to say, hey guys, what are we going to do about waking America up to the realities of the fourth industrial revolution? And what do you think our leaders in DC said to me when I came to them and asked them that question? What are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know. Water I don't know. No, 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 put your put yourself in that DC mindset. <laughs> number number one, we'll study that further. Yes. We'll start a commission maybe. No, I didn't even do that. Number two, this was actually verbatim. We cannot talk about that. What? And then number three, the most responsible common talking point, we must educate and retrain all Americans for the jobs of the future. And I said, that sounds great, but I did the math. I looked at the studies. Do you all want to guess how effective the government-funded retraining programs were for the manufacturing workers who lost their jobs in the Midwest? They weren't. Yeah, they weren't effective. <laughs> Zero to 15% effectiveness rate. Total dud. Half of the workers that lost their jobs never worked again. And of that group, half filed for disability. So when I said to the folks in DC, hey, we're terrible at retraining, you know what their next response was? Better. I guess we'll get better at it. Mm. And then they went back to their salad. <laughs> That's true. I mean, it's DC. <laughs> Actually, it was DC. I just say it was a steak. I can't remember what they were eating. <laughs> One of them said something to me that brought me here to you all tonight. He said, Andrew, none of us are going to do anything about this because this is not a town of leaders. This is a town of followers. And the only way we will do anything about it is if you create a wave in other parts of the country and bring that wave crashing down in our heads. And I thank goodness I had someone with me because you would think I was making that up, right? No. You think that's some kind of like movie supervillain speech. It turns out it's a DC lobbyist speech. It turns out they're very similar. <laughs> so the goal is to create a wave in other parts of the country and bring it crashing down on their heads. And I said, challenge accepted. I'll be back. And that is why I'm here with you all tonight. Woo!